welcome to it's rafiq so this is the question paper of your hlcc examination the question paper is uh, i'll not say that it's too easy a bit difficult especially the program it was unexpected for me they give really hard program according to you people so let's discuss the question paper the first question the command is to determine your computer network information it will be ip config i think all of you have selected the correct one number b which of the following property are used with td it will be all of these okay number c the command used to modify the structure of the table for structure we will use alter there are two command alter table and alter i think alter table will be the perfect one because with alter table command is always required only then number d which of the following is an address operator here wrong option is selected this one m person m person is the address now fill in the blanks in a computer network base can be shared among the com connected computers it will be information or resources number b these are used to write notes about an html document it will be comments number c a uh, this is a special variable that store address of another variable it will be pointer number d this is used to fetch data from the database it will be dql or data query language now true and false to delete a column in an existing table we can use delete command it is false we use drop command number b the statement inside the while loop execute at least once even if the condition false it is false it should be do while number c an object is r defined blueprint or prototype from which class is created it is a uh, true i hope i may be wrong also if i am wrong please uh, write in comment section then number d a router is a networking device that create wireless network this is false access point it create wireless network then question 4 answer the following in one word so here are the answers i am not reading the question here are the answers number a host name b protocol c css d an order list e constraints f input tag g data control language h encapsulation and here are the questions now question number 5 two marks question here i am not sharing the answer because uh, you have already written the answers and uh, what do you mean by ip address write a short note on ip address what are benefit of mac address i think this all are common questions only and uh, what is the use of type attribute of an order list i already given in important questions explain the importance of a table in html this also i gave uh, ask you to learn and uh, number f is it possible to add null or not null constraint to a table already loaded with data this one we can say null is possible but not null it is not possible because if we apply not null to a table but that particular column contain null values then it will return us error so not null is not possible but null value is possible number g what are the characteristics by which one can determine the data type of mysql this is also di also directly from the book the number of i think the number of uh, size and the type of data these two what do you mean by array how to create declare an array give example what do you mean by library function the function which is uh, defined by the already defined in compiler and is some is a library function no it is not because uh, we write the definition of some function ourselves so it is not a library function 
and dynamic memory allocation this is from pointer chapter why pointers are useful you can write this one it is used to access the memory location of another variable and it is very useful when we want to dynamically uh, allocate memory space to the program or to the data explain to features of op that easy only now what is a group function this is from mysql chapter number b write a c program to find the largest number among the series of number using array i gave in important that some of the this one in a series of numbers but here came the largest one the program will be like that i have written here the first part will be same just here in the next for loop we have to write this part if max less than arri max equal arri and in variable declaration also we have to write max equal zero and at last we'll display the value of max okay now number c we have two function with the same name with but with different parameters in this uh, can we have I mean same uh, two function with same name but with different parameters the answer will be no we cannot have but the same thing is possible in c program uh, c plus plus in object oriented programming that we call as function overloading but in procedural program it is not possible and if give uh, there justify your answer with example you can write this simple program you can write one simple program and uh, that's some program only whatever i have in book uh, just we will write the declaration two times definition also two times and at last we will write that uh, it will return a conflict error number seven what is target attribute i have already given draw a flow chart to finding the summation of integer using loop i asked already to learn this uh, practice this flow chart this is directly from your book page number 122 what is nested loop why do we nest it directly from your book only and this question number eight this is the question you have to create the table then primary key is sct code and also you have to write the command to insert the record and also you have to write queries for these following questions the answer is here you can compare with your answer these are the answers the first one for creating table this part and for inserting the record this part and for other queries uh, question b one will be this one select star from activity order by scheduled date asc number two select distinct place from activity so these are the correct answer of your hslc computer science question paper i hope all of you have done well how much uh, is your expected mark please write your comment section and some of you have asked that whether you will get grace mark or not first of all to get grace mark in computer science you have to be appear in your practical examination and if you appear in practical examination definitely you will get the pass mark and uh, you might get two three grace mark but why do you want grace mark at least 60 70 marks you should try to score that's all for today thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye